right now. Or don't look at this. This isn't for children to see. I've never really wanted to get into harm reduction on this channel since ideally I'd rather leave it to the experts, but I'll always make harm reduction videos as I need to. I understand that with this platform I'm gonna end up with subscribers that take things to levels well beyond I ever would in an attempt to look cool. I'm gonna simplify this as much as I can and I'd say this definitely applies to crack and heroin as well. I promise you that the friends that you make doing hard drugs aren't your friends. If you do hard drugs, any chance of a meaningful friendship with anyone goes out the window. If you get hooked on a drug enough, you're gonna only see your friends as a means to get that drug and people are gonna be like that to you as well. You'll get taken advantage of, robbed, shit will get stolen from you all the time and your friends will always lie to you and whatever real friends you have will distance themselves from you because eventually, whether you notice it or not, you're gonna by default care about hard drugs more than your friends at one point. And no one wants to be around someone that's tweaking too hard to care about anything else. Tweaker is not a personality anyone vibes with, it's just a personality the other tweakers pretend to vibe with in order to get more meth. I've never done it, but my biological mom, ghetto mom, whatever you want to call her, I don't see her that often. Why? Because she's a meth addict. Her house is full of roaches and she does nothing but obsessively rummage through a bunch of useless hoarded junk and make pancakes at 3am. She's 55 years old. I'm telling everyone that without proper help, meth and I'm assuming crack and heroin as well are lifetime addictions. 30 plus year addictions. That's not something I would ever risk and I don't want anyone else to risk that either. And the show goes on.